All right, guys, I'm just going to do this right off YouTube here. I'm not going to do like editing and stuff. This is breaking news. I just read this. It was posted on CNN about 45 minutes ago. I will put the link to that story in the description box below. Uh, I was making dinner and so forth. I do have a cop watch video that I'm going to be uploading. But this one here, you need to hear. Former Fort Worth police officer who was involved in the Tatiana K. Jefferson murder has been charged with just that murder. Now, again, I'm going to put a link to this whole story in the description box below, but Officer Aaron Dean, that's the thumbnail that I'm using for this video, is being held in the Tarrant County Jail, the Fort Worth Police Department wrote on Twitter. He's being held on $200,000 bond, according to the Tarrant County Inmate website. Now, remember when I was saying uh, earlier in an editorial I did this morning that He's probably, probably going to, they're going to, you know, say, well, it was justified or it was this. I stand corrected. I have egg on my face. I accept it. I was totally wrong on the punishment of this guy so far. So far. We'll see how far it goes. <clears throat> Remember, he was placed, placed on administrative leave. Things have changed for this guy. Now, again, he's being held in the Tarrant County Jail. And he's been arrested and charged with murder. Lee Merritt, the attorney, the family said, quote, the family of Tatiana Jefferson is relieved that Aaron Dean has been arrested and charged with murder. We need to see this through to a vigorous prosecution and appropriate sentencing. The city of Fort Worth has much work to do to reform a brutal culture of policing. And again, he says a vigorous prosecution and appropriate sentencing. That's right. Let's not have the, a Geiger incident where he gets 10 years. Because she'll be out in five to seven, probably. I don't know. But Dean resigned earlier Monday. He resigned today. He was served with a written administrative complaint Sunday, placed on detached duty and stripped of his badge and firearm, Interim Police Chief Ed Krause said. Krause said, quote, my intent was to meet with him today to terminate his employment with the Fort, Police, Fort Worth Police Department. However, the officer tendered his resignation this morning before we met. Of course he did. He don't want to get fired. Just in case he doesn't get convicted of anything, he can go be a cop somewhere else because he wasn't terminated. He resigned. That's why they resigned, by the way. If Dean had not resigned, he would have been fired. He should still be fired. They should have said, no, we're not accepting your resignation. You're going to be terminated. That's what they should have said. Moving on. He would have been fired for several policy violations, including the department's use of force and de-escalation policies and unprofessional conduct. Yeah, he murdered somebody. The department has press presented a preliminary case to the FBI to review the officer's actions for possible civil rights violations. <clears throat> Fourth Amendment. And then there's some stuff. I mean, I'm not going to give you the whole article here. You can go read it in the description box below. But I wanted to give you this as breaking news. Fort Worth Mayor Betsy Price said Monday the killing of Jefferson was unjustified. You're damn right it was unjustified. Price told reporters, quote, I'm so sorry. On behalf of the entire city of Fort Worth, I'm sorry. To Tatiana's family... It's unacceptable. There's nothing that can justify what happened on Saturday morning. Nothing. But the problem is, it's going to continue to happen. Why? Because we still got cops on the street. And I'm talking nationwide. This is going to continue to happen as long as there's cops with badges and guns. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I sound like a pessimist, but... Police responded to Jefferson's house around 2.25 a.m. Saturday after a concerned neighbor noticed her doors were open in the middle of the night. That's my editorial from this morning if you want to go hear that. Um, and I'm not going to retract anything I said in that editorial except how I was saying uh, that he they might justify this and say, well, it was in the line of duty or whatever. Uh, I think, I don't remember how I worded it. But I was wrong. He's been charged with murder. But we'll see. We'll see what the conviction is. Um... <clears throat> It says in heavily edited body camera video released by police, Dean can be seen pointing his weapon at the window and yelling, put your hands up, show me your hands. He does not identify himself as a police officer. Two seconds later, he fires through the window. So 
Let me see your hands. Put up your hands. 1,001, 1,002. Boom. I don't know if she put her hands up or not, but I was just counting off the two seconds. Police said in a statement Saturday that he had perceived a threat and that officers provided medical care after the shooting. And I remember how, all we, how I said all they have to do is say, I felt threatened. But apparently, now I want to know also, and I'm sorry I'm talking fast and I'm talking rambled, but I just found this out and I want to get it out. Um, I got to go pick up wife from work and I don't want her sitting there waiting on me. But um, what I want to hear from you guys is, do you believe that this guy was arrested and charged for murder because the police want to follow through with this and they believe that he should be charged with murder? Or is it because the whole city is in an uproar? The whole city of Fort Worth, they've been protesting, they've been meeting, they've been crying out. This thing has gone national. It's all over the news from California to New York and everywhere in between. Everybody's talking about this. Is that why he was charged with murder? Or is it because the police department actually believe he should be charged with murder? I want to know what you guys think about that. If nobody was talking about this, if people were just like, yeah, the cop shot some poor lady, would he have been charged with murder? I want to know what you guys think. Just opinion here because we don't really know, but I'm just getting the temperature of the nation here with this video in my comment section. <clears throat> Now, police said in a statement that they found a firearm when they entered the room where Jefferson died. The video released by police shows two mostly blurred clips that appear to be from inside the home showing a firearm. At a Sunday news conference, a reporter asked police spokesman Lieutenant Brandon O'Neill if Jefferson was holding the gun when the officer shot. He declined to answer. You're goddamn right he declined to answer. Oh, they, 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 they don't know. Merritt told CNN affiliate KTVT, quote, there was nothing nefarious or illegal about owning a firearm, that is correct, and they presented in no way that the firearm was contributory to, to, toward the use of deadly force here. Somebody mistyped something, I think. But uh, uh, Merritt said an, in, said an independent law enforcement agency should take over the investigation. He's right. He says, quote, we don't think that Fort Worth police should be investigating it on their own. No, we don't investigate yourself in a matter like this. But there's a whole lot more in here. If you want to go read it, it's in the description box below. I just wanted to quickly bring to your attention that the officer Aaron Dean, who's the thumbnail on this video, resigned before he could be terminated. He sh they shouldn't have, no, 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 you're getting fired, buddy. Uh, but he resigned, and then now he's been arrested and charged with murder. We'll see how it goes. We thought Geiger, when she got arrested, we thought, there it goes, she's going to be charged, and then she got 10 years for killing a guy in his own home. So we'll see how this goes. Community Leo Watch, letting you know what's going on with Leo's across your nation, and I have a Leo Watch coming for you right after this one. Got to go pick up wifey. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to have editorials for you all week long. I might not have one for you Wednesday because I'm going to court. I go to court Wednesday. But I'll have something for you on Wednesday. See what it is. Thanks, guys, for watching.